just can't imagine, you know, growing up and not having any glaciers in the world anymore. Can you imagine that? I'm glad to be alive now, but yeah, it's sad to see you guys. Good morning internet, it is 10 past 8 in the morning and welcome back to the channel, welcome here in Golden Canada. And today it is a golden day, look, it is a glorious weather, so I am super pumped, I think today is going to be, I think it's going to be beautiful, the area where I'm going to ride through. The plan is to ride to Jasper today and I want to visit several lakes on the way and I'll be riding the famous, what's it called now? I don't know, some famous road and I'm gonna ride it. So I'm now right here in Golden and today I wanna end up over here in Jasper. So I'm first gonna ride over here towards Banff and then take this famous road. Oh yeah, Icefields Parkway. That's the road I'm gonna take. This was not forecasted, but uh, I guess with these mountains, it's really hard to do any like good reliable weather forecasting because uh, it can change rapidly. But I am just going to enjoy this. Oh, glorious. How far am I riding? 380 k's? Well, and it's a bit more because remember, I didn't end up where I was planning to go. I already plotted this route thinking I would leave from there. So I'll first have to kind of go back into that direction. Suddenly I realized there are huge mountains here right in front. You can barely see it because there's this morning fog. Wow, spectacular. And uh, see? Look at look, it appears, it appears. Wow. <laughs> this is spectacular. Unreal. Look at this, <laughs> amazing. So I am now in a place called Emerald Lake and the color is just incredible. It kind of looks greenish, bluish. So typically lake water will look blue because the water absorbs the longer wavelengths of sunlight, like red, yellow and uh, orange, and it will reflect back the shorter wavelengths of blue. But if the water overlies a light colored bottom, like here, it will reflect the green and the blue back. So that's why this lake looks greenish bluish. And the white colored bottom, it's made up of marl. And marl is a mixture of clay and calcium carbonate. And it's rich in calcium carbonate because this used to be a glacier lake. So this valley was covered by a glacier in the last ice age. And when 14,000 years ago, that glacier finally re retreated, it deposited a lot of limestone gravel at the bottom and that eventually turned into this marl layer that is now creating the color of this lake. Spectacular, right?
just realized that I'm been walking around with a beautiful goggle imprint on my face. <laughs> oh well. I don't care. On to the next place. So I've just come from another very famous lake called Lake Louise. Very pretty and it's a very popular place but I wanted to go and see it because well it's disappearing <laughs> or at least the lake's not disappearing but the way that it looks is disappearing because it's famous because it has this beautiful turquoise color let me get my goggles on because my eyes are tearing up oh it's so beautiful here well, the lake has that color because it's fed directly from that glacier that you probably saw on the footage just behind it. And that glacier is directly feeding this very, very fine silt into the lake that is kind of scraping off from the rocks. And that silt reflects sunlight, resulting in this beautiful color. But as in many places in the world, these glaciers are melting very fast. And studies have shown that in only a couple of decades from now, 80% of the glaciers here in Canada are going to be gone. So if there's no longer any glaciers there feeding this very fine silt into the lake, the lake is just going to become a normal lake, like a normal blue color, and it won't longer have this special turquoise color. So I wanted to see it while it's still here, before it's too late. So I'm happy I saw it. That's your I could just see the glaciers on there, on top. Amazing. Oh, this is spectacular, hey? <laughs> Unbelievable. See, there's ice uh, floating in the lake here. This is all ice down there. I now understand why this is such a famous road. This scenery is just out of this world. I have never seen anything like this before. It's just spectacular. What a fairy tale. I'm climbing, I'm at 2200 now. There is more snow, but look at that, <laughs> look at that, oh amazing.
Look at that glacier coming down. Wow. Or, well, it wasn't planned at all, but as I'm riding here, I see this massive glacier, and I'm thinking, when in Rome, so I am going to hike up this hill here and have a look at the glacier. Oh, it's such nice weather, it's cold, it's chilly, but the sun's out, and I am loving it. There's already some ice here, look. Be careful not to <laughs> slide down the mountain here on the ice. Very slippery. So when I was at the Lake Louise, or when I left Lake Louise, I was talking about glaciers disappearing. Look, the glacier was here in 1992, and now it's all the way down there. So it's retreated hundreds of meters. So this is the Athabasca Glacier. I think it's cold. I just can't imagine, you know, growing up and not having any glaciers in the world anymore. Can you imagine that? I'm glad to be alive now, but yeah, it's sad to see, right? Let me get a bit closer to the to the glacier water. the temperature of the water. It's gonna be cold. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, I can confirm that water running off a glacier is cold. <laughs> it's just super cold. And you can actually see that the water here is also really milky. So this is also carrying that really, really fine silt. It is being scraped off the rocks by the glacier. Uh, as far as I can go. There's actually uh, a lake here just in front of the glacier too, so you can't actually walk up to the glacier here. Alright, let's go back to Alaska. The other side. Oh, I feel so lucky with the weather. I think, yeah, especially here in the mountains, it's super unpredictable. I mean, look at that sky over there. <laughs> I'm actually heading that way. And then here there's sunshine, so yeah, I think it changes very rapidly. But I'm not so far anymore to Jasper. Maybe another 100 kilometers or so. So it's not very far. Unfortunately, there is no, uh, no dirt road riding around here uh, because it's in a national park. Also, no drone flying anywhere here, in case you were wondering. It's all not allowed, so I just have to stick to the tar. But um, 
it's just so spectacular everywhere that I don't mind to be honest okay let's get going it's 10 to 2 There's dark clouds that I saw before. Yeah, finally the rain is here. And on to some more dramatic scenery. <laughs> As if it wasn't enough yet. I think, yes, I am almost in Jasper. Five k's to go. Wow, so Jasper has this as a backdrop. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. Oh, there's an elk on the road. They're big, eh? Now you can see it with the car. For scale. It's huge. Nice place. Just the mountains around it. It's just... Uh, I can't get over this place. Really. Oh wow, look at that. Canadian National. free parking and welcome to my little home for tonight a very cute little room here in Jasper um, thinking back about today I, I don't know what to say the scenery it blew my mind it really it was just amazing shame that there was no dirt obviously uh, if you follow this channel then you know how much I like that but uh, that was just not uh, not in this area. But this is this is kind of the Canada that I imagined to see, and it's it did not disappoint. That's all I can say. I'm glad I had a little walk towards the glacier. It's a sad reality to see. Um, later, I missed another sign which was which indicated where the glacier was in 1982. And it was even, uh, yeah, a lot further. So just, uh, yeah, it's eye-opening to see how far this glacier has retreated and how far it's gone. And knowing that it is going to be gone, like in a few decades from now, there's not going to be any glaciers there anymore. So I think that I enjoyed the scenery and seeing all of this extra. Just, yeah, when you know that it's precious and that yeah i just felt really lucky basically to be able to see it with my own eyes today so yeah um, i'm gonna end this video i'm quite tired um so that was it for today i really hope you liked this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up subscribe down below and then i'll see you in the next video